Hey everybody, how are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? It's Saturday, 21st, just sleeping in my house. I'm beginning to clean up. They're beginning to start soon, taking the stuff out. But you know what? I'm like, I'm going to start doing stuff myself. I'm going to start going in there, taking the stuff we're not saving, going to put it in a pile so we can be able to... um make the transition easier so we can put stuff in storage daggone hands got all this black but let me say this real quick gotta talk about a few subjects real quick number one two men two men who are in a same sex marriage no they ain't perverts was molesting their two adopted sons black these two, now I want y'all to listen to this now. Two white boys were molesting their two adopted black sons and Black Lives Matter and NAACP. All these black organizations are silent. These two men, perverts, were taking them, recording them, making soft porn for boys in the third and fourth grade. This is what they did. These boys in the third and fourth grade. They were arrested in July. But they're just talking about the story yesterday or the day before. Townhall.com got them at townhall.com. They talked about it. Facebook. I posted the link from Fox News. You know, talking about the story. Facebook automatically squashed it. Facebook automatically made sure the story wouldn't wouldn't spread. Why? Because Facebook is pro LBGTQ by PC. It's pro that. This is why the Republicans need to open up an office in the Republican Congress so people can come bring up censorship. We can solve this ourselves and start having people like Mark Zuckerberg held accountable more. And this is why Steve Crowder is upset. To have part of his contract that he cannot get banned or demonetize knowing you are supposed to be conservatives. Because let's just tell the truth now. Conservative content, if it's truly really conservative com content, is going to be banned, is going to be flagged, because you really can't talk about the subjects. You can't really talk about gay marriage and the impact. You can't talk about this. This is why Steve Crowder is pissed. And now we find out that Daily Wire and their people actually do go by the rules and quote unquote standards of face YouTube and Facebook. Certain subjects, if they talk about it, they are hand at it. We know what they're talking about. Or, 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 or we see it as, oh wow, we know what they're talking about because we know what they're doing but they're not actually really talking about it, addressing the subject and tackling it head on. And this is why Steve Crowder is upset. And he has every right to be. For the Daily Wire to put in their contract, you won't get flagged or anything like that, or you can't be demonetized or banned. How are you going to make proper conservative content talking about the subjects? And these Democrats, oh my God, what in the world are they doing out there? Oh, I guess it's some type of thing out there you should be able to see in the background. Like, what the heck are they doing out there? But the economy is horrible. Everything Joe Biden has touched us off is so bad now. They are really trying to get rid of him. They are trying to get rid of Joe Biden because Donald Trump 
now has the best argument and you cannot deny the Twitter files. You can't deny that. You cannot deny what was said on Twitter about the 2020 election, the FBI interference, the Department of Justice interference, the CIA interference, all this interference so Donald Trump would win. Wouldn't. Wouldn't win. So the Republicans who are running based off what was said in about the 2020 election and released by Twitter who else deserves the chance? Who else deserves a shot other than Donald Trump? You can say what you want. Well, Donald Trump is just so, so controversial. Donald Trump, he's always saying something. That's right. To the point they had to cheat him to beat him. They had to cheat him to beat him. So why are you making an argument he's not the one? Because you think they won't cheat Ron DeSantis? Because it's on if, if, if it's if it's Ron DeSantis, yeah, he can win the he could he's the only one I do believe that could possibly win a nomination. But you don't think they won't cheat Ron DeSantis? You think they won't? And as you can see, it's Let's Go Brandon. Look at that. Let's go, Brandon. Look at this. Let's go, Brandon. And Joe Biden. And Joe Biden. So conservatives, let me say this, and, I, and I'm and i going to go. The worst thing they ever convinced us is silent majority. The Democrat Party made something sound so good because we was willing to do it. Silent majority. Wait till election day to voice your opinion. You look around and you see what's going on. That's because of the silent majority. Because we was told to shut up and wait till election day to vote. And that's us voicing our opinion. No. Voice it every day. Say what you say what you feel. Because if you don't wear a gay pride, they want to throw you out of your sports, not allow you to make a living. And I'm glad Yvonne Popover of the Philadelphia Flyers stood up. I never wear a gay flag, never support that crap, and I don't care what's on stake for it. Jamal, they say you got to do this to keep your job. Oh, well, I won't for gay marriage then, still ain't for gay marriage now. I said it then, I said it, I said it before, I said it again. Homosexuality is a sin. Wrong then, wrong now.